Hey everyone, welcome back to the Nay Budget. Welcome if you are new and if you're a returning subscriber, hey, how are you doing? On the channel, you can find all things cash stuffing, saving challenges, budget breakdowns, and other miscellaneous things. If those sound like things that you like, I hope you will subscribe to my channel. So today I will be doing a saving challenge video and i will be completing a saving challenge today which i'm so so excited about so um we're going to get into that video and i'm just going to apologize now i do sound stuffy and my voice probably sounds a little weird i did have like a little bit of cold i'm dealing with some like congestion right now so i will be stuffing 84 dollars today into my saving challenges and i hope everyone had a good thanksgiving a good black friday did anybody buy anything comment that down below so i'm just going to get into counting this 20 30 40 50 55 60 65 70 75 76 77 78 79 80 81 82 83 84 so i was realizing some things i already know what all my saving challenges are going to go towards but i'm thinking about not clearing them out to the end of the year when i do my um like how much i saved this year video so they're, they're all in my saving challenges so i'll probably just leave them in this envelope um the only envelope that i will be moving from this binder specifically is my black friday envelope um i did do a little bit of black friday shopping but i did it more so for myself for some clothes um so that money i will not be using for myself be more going towards christmas gifts and i guess whatever i don't spend i'll roll it for next year but i probably want to spend all of it or i will pay myself back for the stuff that i bought for myself because yeah i just used my buffer because of some stuff that i really wanted so let's get into um stuff in these cash envelopes and then when I'm doing my end of the year, like, breakdown of everything that I saved, I will most definitely tell you guys where this money is going. All right. And I'm not starting any more saving challenges here. Once it's, this is done, it's done. And I will start new saving challenges next year. And I will do a 2024 binder setup. Some of these binders I still be keeping. Um... I don't have the money to keep switching out binders each year and envelopes. I will probably get some new envelopes, though, and some new saving challenges that I will probably be doing. All right. So, let's get into what I'm adding to here. So, this will get $7. Five, six, seven. Like, let me stop rambling. All right. And this is to complete this challenge. Woo! All right. So, <clears throat> sorry, y'all. So 20, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84. So we have completed this first manifest statement challenge for $3.00. For each thing, totaling $84. So I'm just going to scribble this in. And also, I have decided, like, whenever I have rollover money, now I'm just going to be putting it towards my saving challenges. I think that's the best bet because, um, and then you guys will see what I do with these. But a lot of this money will be going towards my saving. Um, my rollover money will be going towards my saving challenges. Even though I already will be allocating money towards the saving challenges. This, any extra money I have will be going towards it. So some challenges might end up with extra money. And that is okay. Because I will not be doing a fourth uh, paycheck um, cash stuffing. For November, I would just be going straight into December. Um, and then I would just put extra money into December's first cash stuffing just because I had to pay other things. And the cash stuffing would be literally like $60. So um, I just decided to move whatever money I was going to put in saving challenges. I will add to my next saving challenge stuffing. So $84, the saving challenge is complete. I finished my first saving challenges. I'm so excited. 
hopefully this is dry which is probably not because as y'all can see my little envelope here got a whole bunch of red all right so this is the next one my next saving challenge is 25 envelope saving challenge that was rough to open all right let's use green today and we're gonna stuff the 20 dollars and like for november paycheck number two i was supposed to stuff this one so um what i'm going to be doing is i will be stuffing that with december paycheck um this one and this one probably probably be stuffing three envelopes and then my last paycheck i'll stuff these two so yes let's put that 20 dollar bill in here and let's see where we are so 20 40 60 80 90 100 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 95 200 so we add 200 yay 5 6 7 8 9 10 to so 210 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 so 220 dollars That means that we're supposed to save 325, so I have 105 left. That sounds off, though. How much did I just say? <laughs> $220. So, yeah, that means I have 105 left. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. So, it might be more than that. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. Because, let me recount that. Because I'm gonna use my calculator real fast, but 325 minus 220 is 105. 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 200, 1, 2, 3, 4, five six seven eight nine ten yeah counted that wrong because i'm like counting up the rest of it okay this is 15 because i'm like i'm <clears throat> looking at these here and i'm like that is not right all right so that is correct i counted the five wrong my bad y'all so mini vacay is going to be at eight dollars and i'm so excited to start saving for this double time next year just because me and my boyfriend already started figuring out what trips we want to take for 2024 so i need to get this together so five six seven eight so five ten fifteen twenty one two three so twenty three dollars and i will start like okay i'm gonna do like 20 this time like i probably still do small amounts but our first trip is in june so i just want to make sure by june i have 600 dollars saved so that is the goal and i'm gonna excuse me put that in the vacation envelope and i kind of want to do it fast because i have we uh, have to pay for like flights and stuff and then we have another trip in august so the biggest thing is getting this funded next year um, and these are for Magnolia budget. So my goal is to finish these, these next year. I think I have 600 and two $800 ones. So he will probably help me out. No, it's 600 and two 800. So he'll probably help me with these, to be honest with you. So yes, we will be saving for these trips. Um, $5 saving challenge is getting $5. I'm being talkative in this video today, y'all. All right, so 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So $30. And also, like, another thing, too. Like, once I save this, like, money like this might... This is this hypothetically, I don't know yet. Money like this, I would... Sorry, I think above the camera, I would put this into even my vacation envelope and then, you know, put, um, what do you call it? Prop money to make it, you know, do whatever. So 
so that my um, high yield can help out with that. So we're putting $5 into Black Friday. As y'all know, Black Friday has already happened. But 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 1, 2, 3. Like I just told y'all, um, like I just told y'all early in the video, I'm going to keep stuff in this until Christmas time or whatever. And then I'll move this over to my Christmas envelope. Bingo this week is getting $14. So I'll be filling out the five and the nine. And please let me know what you guys want to see for my channel. Um, I'm trying to, for some time my views was like super good. And then like they started to die down. So I just want to make sure my views stay consistent. So I'm doing five. So I got bingo. Woohoo. I finally got bingo. Look at that y'all. And then, um nine i wish that was not so crooked but oh well so nine girl crawl, going outside the lines all right so let's add 14 dollars 10 11 12 13 and 14. and a lot of my rollover money will probably go to this challenge because i want to get this challenge done um, so it will help me finish it even faster. And sorry, I'm got myself out of frame. And it'll help me finish it even faster, is which is something that I would like to do. These smaller numbers, like if I don't do spending and eating out, that's a 10 and that's a 7, you know, um, things like that. So 20, 30, 40, 50, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60. I don't know why I'm not counting properly today, yo. 20, 30, 40, 50, 55, 6, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67. So $67. And bingo. So we have like a little a hundred and some dollars to go. Um, 2020 saving challenge is going to get, I'm gonna ask the 2020. Wow, 2023 saving challenge is gonna get five dollars, so that is making it have 21. And as y'all already know, I'm taking this into the next year with me. All right, my emergency fund is going to get ten dollars this week. I was looking at Dave Ramsey um, baby steps and I'm low-key doing them all wrong because <laughs> the first baby step is to save a thousand dollars in emergency fund but my first thing is once I get this debt paid off that's money that I could be, be put into towards emergency fund money so for right now I'm not even worrying about that um, I'm doing the baby steps out of order one through seven right now I'm worried about paying debt down all right, so this is getting $10, so let's color in the 10. And what saving challenge is, this is not the only saving challenge that I will put towards emergency fund. But this is one of the main ones, and I think any type of emergency money is smart to have. I do have a buffer already in my checking account, but... Of course, we all want extra. This is like my emergency cash on hand. And so it reaches the number and I put it in the bank. I probably start putting it in the bank once it hit $100. It might have already. I don't think it hit $100 yet. So 20, 30, 40, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70. Well, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 75. Good start. And last but not least, we are filling out... Um, we are stuffing my debt envelope. This thing is getting thick. I don't know if y'all can tell. So, okay. So debt. The one thing all of... if I don't know if everybody has it. Some people, they are debt free. But I'm not. I'm doing this now and still paying student loans anyway. I finally got that savings, whatever, for student loans. But they say even though your student loans are at zero, um, for right now... They told me, though my student loans are zero, they're still accruing interest. So I've just been doing like small payments. Um, the first time I paid it, I paid 146 The next time I did 
this is $25 payment and I'll do another $25 payment this month just because I want to keep, you know, whatever interest is possibly accruing. I just want to try to keep that down. I think this is going to make this 50 so yes $50 in here and I'm just going to keep doing this at the end of the year and then excuse me as y'all know by the end of the year this will be going um into whatever debt I want to take it to I am doing a debt snowball method with paying off my debt before I wasn't doing that but as of recently I decided to do that because I was like let me pay the smallest thing off first because I don't use that credit card anymore i just put like my bills on it of course i pay the bills that i put on there every month but like the other stuff that's still on the credit card i'm paying that down at the same time um so it's not much it's a smaller credit card and it just makes sense so once i pay that off i think i might have 200 more dollars to pay off out of the 500 so the ones that's knocked off um i will be able to then i'll move on to my apple credit card then my paypal credit line but um i still am as of right now going to keep trying to do the debt snowball method because i'll be pay off stuff faster so that would be definitely paid off before the end of the year for sure because i just started doing the debt snowball method these past couple of we uh last paycheck i would say and then i paid extra on top of that because my paycheck was more than what i saw and that's why I was able to stuff more inside my saving challenge. Just look at this. This binder is getting thick, y'all. But thank you guys so much for watching. I will catch you guys on the next one. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe below. Mm -hmm.